Hi there, you asked for it and it's here, the Realme Watch S. So I've been using this for a couple of days now and the first thing I can say is it's miles better than the previous Realme Watch in literally every way. There are some things I believe could be better. Let me share my experiences so that you can decide if you should buy this or not. Alright, let's start with the build. So the watch has a round dial and has a metal build. It's made of aluminium with a matte black gunmetal finish. Trust me, this looks very premium. On the side are two buttons. The top one is to open the apps and to go back, while the bottom button is to quickly access workouts. The back is made of plastic and feels sturdy. It has a heart rate sensor, an SpO2 sensor, along with charging terminals. The straps are made of silicon and have a buckle design. Soft, comfortable and gets a very good grip. But I felt it's a little bulky and awkward when I wore it to bed to track my sleep. Maybe my wrists are thin, but wasn't the most pleasant experience at night. It can be replaced with any third-party 22mm bands thanks to the hook mechanism. I have a couple of bands, black, blue and orange. You can buy these separately as well. Coming to the display. So it has a 1.3 inch touch LCD display with a resolution of 360 by 360 pixels. The bezels on the side of the display are fairly slim with minutes indicator. The text is crisp, sharp thanks to the 278 ppi. The colors might not be the most vibrant but still good indoors. Outdoors they do feel a little washed out. The blacks are okay, not the deepest. It does come with auto brightness so it adapts to the light around it. Realme claims it can crank out 600 nits of peak brightness. It gets bright enough to see under direct sunlight. Amazing. Of course, you also have an option to control the brightness manually if needed. The glass on the display is protected with Gorilla Glass 3, so it reduces chances of scratches. Overall, a huge improvement from its predecessor. However, I would have loved to see an AMOLED display, but for that, you'll have to look for the Realme Watch S Pro variant. The watch comes with IP68 rating, so mild splashes and sweat should be fine. Strictly not for swimming or shower. The watch doesn't come with swim tracking either. Coming to tracking, it has 16 workout modes from walking, running, cycling, strength training, football, basketball, table tennis, elliptical training, yoga and a few more. The good thing is that tracking has improved drastically from its previous Realme watch. I wore it for a run and it displayed the distance, time, pace, calories burned and it was quite accurate. Unfortunately, the watch just doesn't come with built-in GPS, so it uses your phone's GPS if you want to map your run. Now this probably might be one of the biggest deal breakers for the watches. But again, it would only matter to a very small segment of people who use GPS for their workouts or else it's absolutely fine. The watch also comes with 24 hour heart rate monitoring. While it might not be the most accurate, but still it's an easy way to get some consistent data on your heart rate. SpO2 also makes a comeback and this time it seems to be a little more reliable. For what it's worth, Realme advises not to rely on the readings for medical purpose, more of just to keep a casual check. The watch's interface worked as expected, but I wish that the animations were a little more smoother. I felt that it's a little jittery. However, I did not come across any hiccups. A swipe from the top shows you your notifications. Swiping on the left gets you quick toggles. Swiping from the right shows you your activity, weather, sleep data, and heart rate statistics. We get call alerts on the watch. You can see the caller's name as long as you give access to your contacts. You have two options, silent the ringer or reject the call. There is no way to answer it. Also app notification with app icons to recognize from which particular app you have received the message. You can read the message, but you can't reply. Though I've heard that there is a quick SMS reply option which will come very soon with an update. Let's see. Coming to the battery. The watch has a massive 390mAh battery and the company claims 15 days. So far in my experience, the battery has stood up pretty well, even with brightness levels high. I'm quite positive you'll get 12 days easily on this. A proprietary charging dock is provided which is magnetic and aligns to the terminals when brought closer. Simple and convenient. Coming to the companion Realme app, it worked pretty well, it shows you your steps, sleep, workout, heart rate, SpO2 and all the workouts. In the settings, you can choose from over 100 watch faces you can download on your watch. From analog to digital to colorful backgrounds. You can also custom set your own pick from the gallery as a watch face. It's super simple. 
Apart from that, you can change call alerts, notifications, water reminders, music playback to control music that's playing on your phone, camera controller, weather, and even the watch updates. The app is very well designed and is easy to use. All right, final thoughts. Well, a lot of good things. For starters, bright display, excellent build, better tracking, overall a decent package for 4,999. But if I had to pick out the cons, no always on display, no AMOLED display, no built in GPS, which I think is really surprising because there are other options available for exactly the same price where you get built in GPS and AMOLED display with longer battery life. Yes, I'm talking about the Amazfit Verge Lite. How about a comparison video of the two? Realme Watch S and the Amazfit Verge Lite. Write down in the comments and let me know. I'll make one if I get enough requests. Meanwhile, the Realme Watch is also a good smartwatch with all its features and premium looks. I'll leave the links below in the description. If you'd like to buy one, you should definitely check it out. So I hope this video was helpful. If there are any questions, mention it down in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.